I'm Chris Griffith, the federal member for Dunkley. I'm here with the Mayor of Mornington Peninsula Shire Council, Councillor Brian Payne, as well as Councillor Rosie Clark from this ward. Uh, and in particular, um, Claire Sullivan, who's been one of the key people who've headed up the Room to Move uh, movement, advocating for this project, as well as Brett Bell from the Mount Eliza Primary School here. Um, do you want to say what this project means to you in terms of what this project is, um, how it came about, and uh, what it will mean for local yeah, um, it set up room to move because there were a number of incidents happening at the school uh, during pick-up and drop-off time. It is an uncapped and unzoned school and as we grow, the parents were finding it a challenge. So with all those uh, challenges we were all experiencing, um, we set up a Facebook page and with everyone supporting that page, we were then able to use that to collaborate with government, the Shire, uh, Council, sorry, the Shire and Council and also um, had all the school, the police, um, and we wrote to local, mini um, local ministers as well. And with that, we were able to achieve with your support the key outcome of creating this car park. And while it's a small measure, it has a big impact for our community and especially Tulsa. And definitely shows what community advocates are going to achieve. I think there's 280 or so parents involved in your room with movement and they were very strong advocates for this project. That's, um, Another reason, key reason we came about. Um, what does it mean for the students here as well as principals in school? Yeah, look, I mean, obviously having kids coming to school safely is, is, the, is the prime, prime aim of this project. But it's, it's what we have all the time. Children travelling to school, and lots of them come by car now. We love them on bikes and, and walking, but there's safety issues around that. So parents prefer to bring them by car, which is fine. Um, so having a, a, a safer space where they can park, uh, drop the kids off in the morning or pick them up in the afternoon is fantastic. I've spoken to lots of parents already that really wrapped with this opportunity about it coming this back way, walk straight the path to the back fence, back gate, and uh, not cross a road. And they know their kids are safe and they can sit here in the shade of the trees and pick them up in the afternoon. So it's really great that they can be safe and use the local area safely. And we, we try a number of different strategies, but this is one key one which has been absolutely fantastic. So. Thank you, Brad. And um, also, I note that Council has been a key contributor to this project as well. What do you want to say about what this means for your local area? Uh, oh, I think it. Uh, thanks, Chris. I think it's a, a great example of how the community uh, pushed for the, uh, the funding from the federal government, and they got 280,000 from the federal government. Uh, we got involved with uh, 100,000, uh, and we produced a, a good result. Um, someone was telling me it started in 2015, or well, it's finally come to fruition. And I'd like to congratulate uh, the staff, the council staff that uh, produced this. Uh, uh, good quality uh, drop-off point for the, the children, and I think it's a wonderful uh, event. You know. So well done, everyone involved, and uh, thanks very much, Chris, for the uh, money. Thank you very much. And I'd just like to say that anything that makes that drop-up, drop-up, and pick-up time easier is wonderful.